Welcome to Hatha Yoga Practice. This is a shorter practice to fit into your day and to bring some energy and aliveness into the mind, the body, and the spirit. So we'll start standing, and I recommend the use of a couple foam blocks and a chip foam block for your practice. You can do this with your own body weight if that's all you have. Take a nice tense with your feet wide. Turn the toes out and evenly distribute the weight of the feet across every toe mound and the ball of each heel. And the heel, the ball of each foot and the heel of each foot. And once you find that even pressure of weight, press down a bit through your legs, engage your quadricep muscles a bit, and engage and lift up through the pelvic floor in the space between the sitting bones and the labanda. Place your hands on your navel and your belly and take a few breaths in to connect into your deep pelvic floor and navel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take an ohm on the next exhale. Oh. And there, with the eyes slowly open, sing facing the wide edge of your mat. Take your feet out a little bit wider. Turn your toes to face towards the wide edge of the mat, the heels to turn out. On your inhale, reach your arms on left, your shoulders, and plug your shoulders on your back. Take your left arm down to your left outer edge of your leg and reach your right arm up and over to the left for a nice side bend. Breathing in through your right hip and pushing away through your right foot. Inhale, reach out through your fingertips even more. Exhaling. Engage your legs, come back up the center, inhale. Switching sides, exhale over towards your right. Roll your shoulders back, push away through your left foot and reach out through your left fingertips. Inhale, come on back to center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Interlace your hands behind your backs. Let your arms come heavy as you lift your chest up. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, tip your pelvis forward, coming into a wider leg forward fold. And you can reach your arms off of your back to the ceiling of behind you. You're welcome to release your pointer finger, finding Shiva Mudra. And continue rolling your shoulders back as you bow forward and feel that length of the rest of your spine. Push your legs away, at the same time pull them together. Dome your feet into your mat so you feel the arches of your feet lift. And then as you exhale, release your hands down your legs, taking your hands to your shin bones to find a halfway lift. As you exhale, turn your toes out, heels in, and bring yourself into a squat. Inhale. Sit a little bit lower, exhale, engage your glutes. Push down through your feet, inhale, come all the way back up. Reach the arms out wide, like an X. Exhale, sit back into squat. Push down, reach up, charge your legs, come on up. This time, sit down into your squat and hold. Place your palms down. Good. From there, now you'll turn your right toes to face the front of your mat. Turn your left toes so they now face in the same direction. And then place your right foot back to your left foot in downward dog, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Keep that length in the waistline here as you found in standing and bring that into down dog. Bend your knees, send your heels down more to the earth and engage your arms and legs a bit more to center.
bend your elbows a little bit, and engage your shoulders more on your back. Inhale, reach your right leg back to three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb. You can lower your left knee down or keep your left knee up, your choice. The hands come and come up to the right thigh, hands at heart center, and the arms come out to the shoulders height or up overhead for lunge. Sit more into the base of the right thigh, push off through the left toes. And keeping your ribs knitted back and in. One more breath like this. And as you exhale, take your hands on your hips. Turn your left toes out in an angle and interlace your hands behind your back as the left heel touches the mat. Inhale, reach your chest up. Exhale, bow over your right thigh and inside for a humble warrior for a few breaths. Let your shoulders stay back and down and your chest reach forward and down. Release your hands down on either sides of your right foot. Turn your left toes to face forward this time and step your right foot back into plank position and come forward into your full body weight. Claw them out with your hands. Exhale, lower down to your knees and find child's pose for one breath, forehead to the mat. Come forward to hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift back and lift your left leg up. Three like a dog. Exhale, bring your left knee towards your chest, step it to the left thumb. Come forward and find your lunge variations, lower high. Push back through your right toes a little bit more, sitting into your left thigh, hugging the arms in and lifting up through your fingertips. Feeling into the body. Notice all the non-physical energy, non-physical sensations as well. Place your hands on your hips, step your right foot up and turn the heel and the foot in that angle. Take your fingers behind you, interlace the chest, uh, the fingers and lift up. Exhale, bow to the inside of your left thigh, humble warrior on the second side here. Release your hands down now, and from there, turn your right foot to face forward. This time, step your right foot to your left foot and sit your hips low and reach your arms to shoulder height for chair with Vipassana. Neutralizing the body, hug the inner thighs, engage your glutes and your sit bones a bit more here. Feel the feet lift to the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, belly and drawing the ribs back, Uddiyana Bandha, shoulders back. Chin slightly into the throat. Inhale, come to stand, reach your arms up overhead. One breath, inhale, lengthen your waist. Exhale, swan dive the arms wide and down. Place your hands on your shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Place your palms on the ground, step back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back a little bit here and take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Reach your hips back, bend your knees, and then extend your legs as you turn your chest to the left, looking underneath your left shoulder. Breathe in. Turn your chest a bit more to the left. Inhale, release. Exhale, switch to the left, to the right side. Look underneath your right now. One 
on back to center, downward facing dog. Wonderful. From there, inhale, reach your right leg back to three-legged dog. Exhale, take your right knee to the outside of your right wrist or pigeon pose and take the top of your left foot down. Engage the space between your thighs so you feel that lifting up through the center of the body. And hold here for a few breaths. You can come up onto your fingertips and then sit your hips a little bit lower. One more breath like that. And then from there, you can take yourself onto your right hip. And as you take yourself onto your right hip, you go ahead and take your left leg out in front and off to the left and take your right foot inside of your left thigh. Now you can sit up on a chip bone block or press down actively through your sitting bones as you lift your chest up, breathing in. Firm your belly as you fold over your left leg into a Johnny Shushasana, forehead the knee. You can bend your left knee as much as you like. Keep pushing back through your sitting bones as you bow your chest forward and breathing in here. Breathing out. Take your left piece fingers around your left big toe and your right hand and your right hip crease. Pull the right thigh back and down. Press down through your sit bones as you turn your chest open to the right for revolved John or Shoshasana. Reach the right arm up if you like towards the ceiling and take the right hand behind the head and then roll your shoulders back. Breathe in here. Release your right hand down, roll yourself up, and then we'll switch, coming to the hands and the knees. Then from there, from hands and knees, you can slide your left knee to your, the outside of your left wrist, take your left foot to the inside of the right thigh, tenting your fingertips for a nice active pigeon pose. Have the top of the right foot down as you push through your right toes, and lift up through your chest. So you may feel a nice opening across your psoas, your hip flexors here. Lift up a little bit higher. Last breath like this. And as you exhale, slowly tip over towards your left hip, sliding your right leg out toward the top right corner of the mat, and take your left foot inside of your right thigh. Again, you can sit up on a block if you like. Tend your fingertips either side of your right leg and inhale with your chest up. Exhale, bow your chest over your right thigh. Pushing through your right heel and flexing your right toes back. And you can take your right piece fingers inside of the big toe, right arm inside of the right leg. Take your left thumb and forefinger and palm around the left hip crease, rolling it back and down. And then start to push the left foot into the right thigh as you roll your shoulders back and lift up and breathe. Take your left arm out and up behind you and take the left hand behind the head and roll your shoulders back and your chest more open. Breathe.
carefully release. And then bend your right knee, bend your left knee, facing your feet to the ground. Hug your legs in, then close the back of the hamstrings and tuck your chin to your throat. Inhale. And exhale. From there, take your feet to the floor, reach your arms forward, roll your shoulders back, palms facing up, and we'll just take a little bit of a roll back, getting a little bit of core work here. Inhale, turn your belly, exhale, engage your sit bones, lengthen your tailbone forward, and start to roll back for five, four, three, two, gazing forward, two, and one. Take a moment for that to settle. Good. Place your feet down to the floor. Roll your shoulders in a little bit and place your palms down, taking a brief entry into bridge pose. Satya Bandha Sarvangasana. Inhale. And exhale, press your hands and feet down, lift your hips, engage your glutes and quads, lift up higher. And then coming down one vertebra at a time, upper spine down to the tailbone. Hug your knees into your chest. Place your feet to the mat. Bring your arms into a cactus shape and let your knees gently fall to the left for a few breaths, just a basic twist. Inhale to center, hug your knees in. down, lay your knees forward to the right. And back to center, hug your knees in one more time. Let your legs reach up towards the ceiling, as well as your arms as the shoulders soften down the back. And breathing in. Roll the wrists and the ankles in both directions, releasing any additional tension that might be built up. on your ankles, keep your head on the mat as you do this. Flex your ankles up to the ceiling, beam your heels up and breathe. Shavasana. Let it all release out in front of you. Palms face up down by your sides. Shoulders down your back. And resting here. Letting go of everything.
slowly deepen your breath. Exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretching out the face and the jaw. Place your feet to the floor. And hug your knees into your chest one more time. to your left side, resting your head and your bicep, and breathing in, and out. You press your palm down, and then your other palm down, and come up to a brief seated position, bringing your hands to the heart center. Sometimes we only have so much in our day to fit in a little asana practice and sometimes it's important to acknowledge that and to provide ourselves what it is we need in that moment. Inhale to all. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.